Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day vegan edition mom and baby which she's a toddler now which is so sad but I have not done one of these videos in like eight months which is crazy but I love watching these. I love making these so I'm going to show you guys what we eat today and give you some ideas of things to eat. I'm not going to like eat out or anything because I feel like that just like defeats the purpose of these videos. Like I like to watch these videos to get ideas ideas of like different things to make. So we're gonna be eating at home today. We usually eat pretty healthy when we're at home. I try to eat vegan most of the time. I'm not actually vegan. It's currently 8.45, so I'm gonna go get Cove. We usually eat breakfast like around 8.30. Also, you guys can tell, my lips are really swollen and bruised because I did get filler in them this week. So I made a video about that on my vlog channel if you guys wanna watch it, but it's only been a few days, so they're still pretty swollen and I kinda covered up the bruises pretty well actually, but I'll link that video down below. I'm also gonna do this just like vlog style and like really casual because I feel like that's just the vibe these days and what people like to watch. So let's see. I feel like in my last video I did avocado toast. So I wanted to show you guys something different, but we don't have anything different to eat today. Usually I do toast, but we're also out of bread. So I'm gonna use one of these bagels. These are Bubba's bagels. It says vegan friendly right on the bag. So I have that. I have my avocado. There's only one left. So me and Cove can just share and then we can have some fruit and stuff. So I'm gonna get everything set up and then I will go grab her. Okay, so I was gonna share this bagel with her, but lately she's been just like licking the avocado off of her avocado bagel or her avocado toast, and I'm very hungry. This bagel is kind of small. Can you get it? Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is just give her some avocado, and you're gonna eat the wrong side. Okay, I gotta hurry. This is doing breakfast with a toddler. Anyways, last step of my bagel is lemon juice. And then for her, I am going to actually give her yogurt, which normally I don't do because I feel like yogurt just has like so much sugar. I don't care if she eats sugar because there's like sugar and everything, but even on this plain yogurt, the second ingredient is cane sugar. So this is plain dairy-free yogurt. And we're gonna do that with some strawberries. Oh my, you want some yogurt? Here, and I got you, I got you avocado. Look, I also got out this Cool Whip to show you guys because I'm gonna have a few strawberries and this is so good. So I'm gonna put a little bit on her tray. You're dipping your strawberry in avocado too. We have her bowl. I'm gonna give her a little bit of this yogurt. I actually bought this because I think I made the recipe in one of my other what I eat in a day videos, but we make buffalo chickpea quesadillas that are vegan and the cheese sauce calls for yogurt. I also have granola. We're gonna put that in here. I'm gonna have strawberries for her. I'm still working on that same one. Strawberries. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so here is my breakfast and I'm gonna have some strawberries. And then normally I always like to make the same thing for her just to make it easier. And we usually do really simple stuff for breakfast. But like I said, I only have one bagel today and she is gonna have yogurt, granola, strawberries. She wanted some whipped cream and then she's having a few bites of avocado. <laughs> yeah, that's a strawberry. Mmm. You gonna take a bite with the spoon? I don't know if you like this one because it's not that sweet. What's this? What is that? <laughs> strawberry, yes. Oh, you just want the strawberry? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it to you. She is pointing to her vitamins that I just got out. So I have mine. I also have been taking this B12. I just got this off of Amazon, but we don't eat meat. So I've been taking that. And then I have this one for her. That's a multivitamin with iron. And I hope this is a good one for her because 
this. I did the iron since she doesn't eat meat again, but I don't know. So next appointment we have, I need to like ask her doctor about that. You ate them? Mmm. Okay. You took yours and then mama would do hers too. Mmm. Okay, so then for her drinks, we don't do juice or anything, and we also don't do any type of milk. Um, she still does breastfeed. We're like kind of, I just literally, I don't know how to stop. No, 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 no. So I usually will do it like once a day or once every other day, or sometimes I'll even skip two days and then somehow I still have milk, I don't know. So that's the only milk that she has. So we just do water. So I like these cups. These are great for if your baby is learning how to drink from a straw. This one is like dirty now because she just touched it, but these are the Dr. Brown's ones. So normally we have one of these filled up for her all day. This is great because she can like take it all over the house and whatever. Did you drop your spoon? But I also have these ones that I like to give her so that she can keep practicing just drinking out of a normal cup. So there's just like probably this much water in here. And I don't give her one of these every single day just because this is easier, but I do give her these often so that she drinks out of a normal cup. I also taught her to sign to me if she wants water, milk, more or she's all done so i'll try to get her to do that throughout this video but it's so helpful to like know what she wants before she can say all those words she's been signing to me for i think she's been doing it when she was like one but i started signing to her when she was like six months old and people always ask why when i talk about it they're like oh why did you do that it's just so she can communicate with me what it's just so she can communicate with me and it really is so nice especially when she's so little oh my you want more whipped cream can you sign more can you sign to me? So this is more. This is all done. This is water. And this is milk. I don't know if these are officially like 100% the right signs, but these are the ones that we do. Okay. You can have a little bit more of this and then we're gonna put it away. All right, so that is our breakfast. I just cleaned up while she finished eating. She actually left quite a bit of yogurt, so I'm gonna save this for her so she can eat it as a snack. But usually for breakfast, I do try to keep it pretty simple. Sometimes we do more fun stuff like cinnamon rolls or smoothies or acai bowls. But on work days like this, I always am like, okay, toast or oatmeal, whatever, it takes like two minutes. So that is what we ate for breakfast. Okay, so it's now 11.30 and pretty much every day for lunch, we normally have leftovers of a dinner the night before. So last night I made some burrito bowls. They were so quick, so easy. I'm gonna link the recipe down below. Yeah, I usually make like fresh dinner at night and then we just have leftovers for lunch because it's quick, easy, and I normally just like do not have time to spend more than like 10 minutes preparing lunch. So what we are going to have is cilantro lime rice. Then I have black beans and corn. I also have a little bit of refried beans left from the day before pico de gallo salsa type thing and then these potatoes actually are from like two days ago so i'll link the recipe for that down below too it's like a potato taco recipe that we make all the time and it's so good so the potatoes are from that and so is this i think it's just like a cilantro lime dressing so yeah i'm kind of like mixing together a few things but this is like so easy i'm literally just gonna heat all this stuff up so it's really fast and really really good Okay, Parker just mixed hers up. So she's got lots of veggies and beans. I don't usually give her food in a glass bowl because if she throws it or something, but since I heated everything up all together, I'm just gonna give her this. Hopefully she doesn't throw it. Mm. Is that yummy? Mm. It's also kind of a lot, so I'll just save any leftovers and she can have them for a snack later like she did with her yogurt. You want a smaller fork? We also have construction happening in our basement, if you guys can hear that. But normally, like when we had this last night for dinner, I gave her this plate and so I like separated everything out, but I wanna make sure that she isn't like weird about her food touching when she's older if like she only ever had her food being separated. So sometimes I mix stuff up in a bowl like that. But I have mine that I just heated up. I'm gonna add. You have mine heated up too? No, there wasn't enough. <laughs> what am I gonna you eat? Parker doesn't usually eat leftovers with us. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, leftovers just don't kill to me. I didn't eat them a lot growing up because we just like didn't have enough. Unless I see it, it all that like day. I don't see it prepared. Like my mom would make like 
soup or something and I would warm it up in the microwave and I would eat it and like not like it. But the same soup, my mom would heat up, but it always would take taste better if I didn't see it prepared. Is that weird? No. Are you guys like that? I also like to add chips to mine. So five minutes later, I have a yummy, healthy veggie burrito, whatever, taco bowl. And it's so good. Coco's over here eating away. Can you show me what you need? Water? Okay. She ate almost this whole bowl. <laughs> you still have a couple bites. I'll get you water though. Here you go. Good job. Do you want more or you're all done? You're all done? Okay. Okay, so it is currently 3.08. Cove just woke up from her nap and dad got her a little snack. She's having a couple wheat things. And then I've been drinking this Waterloo grape sparkling water and Kobe wants some. Okay, today we are gonna have some hummus and some cucumber. She's been liking cucumber lately. Yeah, she likes to just literally eat the cucumber like this. Want some hummus? Yummy. She likes to just eat the cucumber like that. I was gonna cut a piece, but then she just took the whole thing, so. I also just got some of this ramen from Amazon. Soon veggie noodle soup. It's vegan and it's so good. And Parker's gonna eat some right now. So for my snack, I'm gonna have a bite of that. What? No. I am. Something we eat a ton of are these little halo oranges. So I'm gonna eat a couple of these and I'm sure Cove will want some too because these are her favorite and she likes, actually yeah, she must have gotten into this one because she likes to peel them herself. I'm gonna also have some of these jalapeno lime bean chips. I get them from Thrive Market and there's so many different flavors and they're really good. Uh-uh. So a couple hours later, it is dinner time now, and I had Parker film this food that he made. Usually we kind of like switch off cooking. So it was his turn today, and he made one of my favorite recipes that I'm gonna link for you guys. It's samosa wraps, and it's kind of a complicated recipe, but it is so good. So I didn't do like showing how to make it because there's just a lot of steps that you gotta follow, so it's easier to just look at the website. We have these potatoes, and the first time that we made them, we did the amount of spice it said to make and they needed a little more flavor so we did a little more Dry spices out. this time yeah, flavor this time mm. it's not like that complicated but this is more of a make every like once in a while one because it does take a little bit longer and then we also have these chickpeas and we like to use these tortillas i like them because they're uncooked and they only have five ingredients so you just like cook them on the stove really easily and then we have tomatoes what is this cilantro uh cilantro and if we make something like this where Cove like could eat a wrap, but it would kind of be hard because everything would just, everything would just fall out of it. So I'm just gonna have one of these plates and put different things in each section because that's gonna be a lot easier for her to eat. And do chickpeas for her, potatoes. Might just change like crazy. Yeah, the lighting's kind of crazy later in the day. I'll also do some tomatoes for her. Here's your baby dinner. I'll get you a fork. I'm gonna put my potatoes on mine, and then the chickpeas. The chickpeas are so good. They actually have cinnamon on them, which I thought was really weird, but they're way yummy. Some of this, some tomatoes, some lettuce, and I'm gonna roll it up. What do you want? Water? Yeah, good job. Okay, this is the hummus that I have. Roasted pine nut. I actually usually don't get this flavor, but my mom got this one. So I'm gonna dip my wrap in that, and I'm also gonna give some to Cove. 
yummy. So here's my wrap. So yummy. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Usually we don't eat a lot after dinner, but before bed, Cove and I have been having like a couple of those little oranges that I think I showed earlier. So we we'll usually share like two or three of those and that's it. So I'm sure we'll do that today, but I'm gonna end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'm gonna have everything linked down below for all the recipes and stuff that I talked about, but I hope this gives you guys some ideas for things to eat and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Only you know me to the rhythm